Dara, it's a better performance and you look a happier man tonight. What did you make of it? No, I'm delighted with the win. Um, the boys have played really, really well tonight, worked really hard. Um, against an older shot team in good form, to be fair to them, I think they're, they're a good side, young team of good energy, play, play football the right way. Um, it's great for us to get people back from injury tonight and get minutes on the pitch and um, have some youngsters out tonight have done really well as well in, in George and Sydney when they come on. And uh, just like Saturday, it was a quick start and a first go in some time for Angelo. You must be delighted for him not just to score, but to also get 90 minutes. Yeah, it's great to have him back. He's, you know, I've said it a million times, he's, he's a brilliant, brilliant player for us. He's, he's, a, he's, he's a top, top player for us. And, he gives you that composure and that quality to up under the pitch. He can put his foot on the ball and bring people into the game. And um, We've missed him this season. It, there's no getting away from that. Um, to have him back tonight um, was, was brilliant and, and the finish is outstanding. Uh, no surprise to see him score it once he gets in there. But I thought George's pass was excellent as well. The way to pass to get him in between the centre-back and full-back to get Angie in it was very, very good from George. The three changes to the line-up <coughs> from Saturday's defeat. How do you think they've done? What were the three changes? Go on. Uh, Josh Saunders, George Saunders, George Saunders was excellent. Angelo excellent, and Josh was excellent. The three of them are very good. There you go. That was nice and easy. But jo listen, we miss Josh as well. Josh Hare, Josh Hare is like just a steady, steady player for us. Good experience, knows the level, reliable as you like. So it's very similar to like Sam Ling. Very reliable players, and, and, you, and you want that on your side. And I thought Josh was outstanding tonight. And uh, pretty much, you told me Westy was out for four to six weeks. Obviously, he came on at half time for Fipsy. Firstly, what was the situation with Westy? And then secondly, was Fipsy just precaution West, as he was booked? West, West, Westy's got an injury that he probably shouldn't be playing, but he wants to play. Um, and it just shows the commitment he's got, he's got to the group. Um, he's been told to rest his knee or maybe take an injection in his knee, but he doesn't want to do it. He said he'd rather get on with it and just get, get, down and get through it. And that's credit to Westy. You know, as someone at his age who have that desire to still want to be out there and play, he's not sitting, he's not sitting in the treatment room hard and away from a difficult time for us. He's out there wanting to, want to be part of the group, and that's brilliant for Miles Weston. He, and I've said this before, he's, he's, he's a real, real leader in the group. With Fipsy, it was just the yellow card. Um, unfortunately for us, he's been sent off twice this season, so we can't risk losing him again. So um, we felt by getting, getting um, Lingy into that position anyway, I think Lingy, Lingy could defend that, that area really, really well and, and um, get West in the pitch as well. I do have to ask about the obvious uh, absence of uh, Inie F. Young. What's the situation with him for He tonight? couldn't play because of the deal that we've done with Aldershot, so he was unavailable for us tonight as part of, part of the deal that he could play this game. And then we've had a real tough few weeks, but tonight we seem to be in control for large parts of the game. What do you think that does for the whole the, the whole club's confidence? Yeah, it just, there's a long way to go in the season and you have ups and downs and difficult times. And I know we said this Saturday, we've lost a lot of a lot of good players in the last few weeks, you know, and we're, we're getting some back. Hopefully we'll have Mara back this week as well, which would be massive for us. We'll have any back in the group as well at the weekend. So they're two massive, massive positives. Hopefully Ranty will be OK after, after his injury tonight. I'm, I'm moving forward. Every game's a tough test, but it doesn't come much tougher than Saturday, does it? Yeah, we're, play, we're playing against the best team in the league. Um, the top of the table, they play unbelievable football. Their squad's ridiculous. <laughs> I've sort of quick look at it now. The players they've got in their group, Jody Jones, John Bostock, you know, Championship and Premier League quality players in their group. Um, so we know it's going to be a difficult tie. We'll be the under, massive underdogs, to be honest. So um, the pressure's on us currently to get a result. So we'll, we'll go there and, and try and upset the air.